And I, I think that one of those things that you, you touched on, that, that balance between the CFO and the supply chain manager, where they're, you know, they're, they're both going to have um, different priorities. There's got to be something which allows them to connect and sort of understand on what, a, what the source of truth is going to be for this or what, what, the, what the vision is going to be for your, for your company and what an accurate kind of understanding of what that's going to look like um, and how you then start to make meaningful trade-offs over, over time. Um, and that's going to have to change not to just be CFO and supply chain manager, it's going to have to start to include the consumer. One of the other things you touched on was actually that some of the trains in omnichannel and e-commerce mm. are actually training consumers almost in the wrong behavior. <laughs> They're starting to drive, uh, I saw a quote that you, um, you had in there, which is that uh, consumers are almost being trained um, deliberately to uh, be wasteful, effectively. They were, this, this was in reference to returns. But I think that's, that's a really interesting um, tension that you've got two people in your organization who are driving something in, yeah. hopefully towards a more sustainable future with a, you know, with a balance of cost and service level. And then you've got a customer that you're training to almost think completely in opposition to, to that, yeah. those trends. How, how do businesses start to manage that? Yeah, I, I think, you know, like many things, um, when they initially take off, there's a, there's a, there's a flood of interest and yeah. you sort of run off in, in a certain direction and then sort of you get uh, nudged back into a more sustainable path. And then certainly some aspects of e-commerce, mm. as you mentioned, the returns um, and what ends up happening to a large proportion of those returns into landfill is, is, is clearly questionable from a sustainability perspective. Mm -hmm. Consumers are becoming more aware of that. And, yeah. and you see them becoming conscious and, and sort of, you know, changing, changing the habits. Uh, it's, it's, it's early days, but, but you certainly see, you see some of that. I suspect if, if that doesn't accelerate, you will see policy nudging in yeah. that direction as, as, as well. And, you know, the simple answer is, is price. Um, it's, it's challenging, right? Yeah. Because you're in a competitive environment, but yeah. price will be will be the uh, will be the regulating uh, force here for for returns policy. Um, so, yeah, it, it looks wasteful and it looks um, and and it's 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 not efficient uh, at the moment. Again, these these sort of shifts in, in behavior and policy, I think, will will start to will start to influence that. But I think there's a broader point here as well around um, where we need to go um, in terms of reuse and recy and the recycling economy. Um, we're not going to get to where we need to be on sustainable uh, supply chains or you know um, emissions if we don't increase sort of the new economy around reuse and, mm -hmm. and recycling, um, that has also profound implications for supply chains. Yeah. We need to essentially build out a different set of supply chains that um, are built around repurposing mm -hmm. uh, component parts, repurposing clothing, yeah. um, being able to uh, authenticate and tag. Uh, component parts so for repurpose and, and reuse, that's an entirely different set of supply chain yep. demands than we have today. Um, but that, again, I think is coming over the next, uh, certainly over the next decade or so, yep. uh, in order to reach the sustainability goals that, you know, now we have many companies, many big companies signing up to. Um, in order to, to reach them, it's not just about taking CO2 out of the supply chain, it's also about these broader Definitely. supply chain um, 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 issues of, of reuse and recycling. Absolutely.